All right, guys, so <clears throat> this is uh, video number two today. Uh, you know, I just got done making my first one, and I hope you watched that on my infield score for today. But as mentioned, I came home with another rifle today from that military show I went to. And, uh, you know, i got to say that, the, you know, the military show, like I mentioned in the first video, it's a lot smaller than the show of shows. But um, there's always, you know, interesting things to see, and I usually come home with something every year. And uh, I came home, I, I got a canteen other than these two rifles, which, you know, I'll, I'll put that in another video randomly. But um, I saw some things I was interested in, just a little bit more than I wanted to pay. And, um, but, you know, it's always fun to get out there and interact with other collectors and enthusiasts and everything, you know, and just, uh, you know, build relationships and make friends and everything. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> what I have right here is uh, I got me a, a Russian M38 carbine. And uh, this one is dated 1941. Now, for those of you who've been following me, I've already got an M38. I got uh, almost two years ago. I got it in June of 2017, and uh, I paid $150 for it, which was a good price. Uh, you know, like I said, it's been almost two years ago, and it's in good condition everything. And uh, I got this one for a really good price, 2019 uh, pricing, I would say. And, uh, you know... I'm going to bring you in closer, and uh, I'll go over it and show you more of what I got here on the table. So, let's go. Alright, so here it is. And obviously, upon first looking at this thing, it is, you know, pretty rough. The stock, it needs to be cleaned up, and you can tell the top handguard there has been replaced. But, it is an original handguard there, so that is original, but the rest of it... You know, um, it needs some cleaning up. It's really filthy. And, uh, you know, I could get, I'm going to clean it up some. Um, I could get some Murphy's oil or something like that, you know, and get it cleaned up. But um, it's got some dings in the stocks. And, you know, honestly, when I first saw this, I was thinking, okay, this, there's a good chance this is a Type 53 Chinese, uh, you know, model. Because a lot of them were, you know, in this kind of condition and everything. But uh, I'll show you. Sorry about the glare. So you got 1941. And uh, this one is an Izzy, Izzyvik, 1941. So it's definitely the Russian one. Um, and um, it's overall, you know, all the, the metal and every metal parts and everything are in pretty good shape. You know, I'm going to clean the bolt up a little bit. But um, like I said, it's just the stock that's kind of, I guess, rough or filthy, I should say. But uh, it's just clean up nice. Uh, the bore on this thing is uh, in good condition. Again, I'm going to clean it and everything. <clears throat> but um, I know most of you are probably wondering how much I paid for this thing. And the man was asking $200, which nowadays that's a good price for an M38. I see him going for $300, $350, $400. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, you know, going off condition and everything, I was kind of looking at it. He said, I'll tell you what. He said, how about $180? <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's jacked up. 180 you know i kind of thought about it and i was looking at it, got talking to him and everything and and uh i offered him 160 because he said you know what do you give me for i said 160 then he said 170 let's do it so i said okay so i picked up this russian 1941 m38 carbine i got for 170 dollars like i said even though the stock you know needs some cleaning that's a really good price like i said the one i bought almost two years ago i paid 150 it was in a lot better condition than this one but uh, like I said, for 2019 pricing, 170 is a very good price for a functioning rifle. And so I was grateful to pick that up. And what it was, um, I was carrying around the infield that I'd bought. And the, the man that had the, the booth set up, he had a bunch of Civil War stuff. And he said, hey, uh, he said, I've got some rifles under the table. And he said, uh, would you be interested in them? I said, well, you know, I'll take a look and see what you got. And uh, he pulled out, you know, um, he pulled out, you know, this Russian carbine here. And um, I ended up getting it, and he pulled out a couple other rifles, which nothing I'd be interested in, right? And so we got talking and everything. I showed him pictures of my collection, and, and uh, we actually, you know, built up a, a relationship, I would say, and somewhat became friends, even though we don't know each other that well, but we exchanged cards. And he said he's got some other stuff that he'd like to reach out to me and see if I'm possibly interested in, other military stuff. So you, that's why I always tell you, you know, get out there, let people know what you're looking for, what you're collecting, hand out cards. I mean, I'm on uh, Facebook groups and Craigslist, obviously YouTube, Instagram. I, I talk to people in person. Uh, I mean, I'm just everywhere. You know, I have people looking for stuff for me. I look for stuff for people. I go out picking. You have to get out there and let people know what you're looking for. And you know, and 
you never know i mean it might be years later somebody might still have your card and find something or, or come across something and it could be an awesome deal for you or something you really would need for your collection so don't give up just get out there and get you know get your get your name out there on the streets i would say but anyways like i said not just a whole lot to talk about uh like i said you know the russian m38 uh, had the you know it didn't have the attached folding bayonet that would be the russian m44 and it, the M44 actually had a notch in the stock here where the bayonet would fold down into. So this one, you know, obviously would have a bayonet for it, but it would detach. But, um, that, you know, 1941, and like I said, overall in good condition as far as the metal. Um, I'm grateful to have been able to pick this up. Like I said, it's been six months since I made any gun purchase. And nowadays with everything going on in the world and, uh, you know, it's everything else. I mean, if you want to get into collecting, you better get into it because now, it, you know, don't wait too much longer to start collecting because it's already hard enough as it is to find reasonably priced stuff. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Um, more videos on the way. Hopefully, I can get out there and shoot before long. And um, I appreciate all the support. And uh, I look forward to making more videos. So thank you, guys.